Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! One thing I forgot to do in my catch-up part, last part, in terms of side questing and whatnot, was upgrade one of my partners because I have a bunch of shine sprites now, so yeah, why not do so? Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do any more um, uh, trouble center stuff right now. I mean, I looked ahead as to what is available to me and they're all kind of annoying and full of backtracking. <laughs> So I think what I'm going to do is uh, hold off on doing the Trouble Center until later, and uh, just continue on with the game for now. And voila, Koops is upgraded. No more partners can be upgraded. Everyone is at their max. So that means we can go! Now remember, they said to uh, look down the west side of Rogueport. Like, in, like, look for an entrance to the underground uh, sewer area. Well, remember that kid that was frightened to fall down in that grate? Uh, this kid right here. Oh man, I almost fell down the grate! Man, that was close! And I know where that thing leads to all too well, and I don't want to go down there! Well, we're going down there. How do you like that? It's another section of the sewer. Um... If you jump down here and get the star piece back there, you can't actually jump back up there, and it's actually important to be up there. Um, this red X is something for a little while. Ugh! Oh, I wanted to do a first strike with the. Ugh! I wanted to do a first strike with the spin hammer. That's okay. Uh, I decided to battle this because look, look at that new enemy to tattle. I'm, I'm gonna do this. Just to get rid of that right away, and then I'm going to swap partners oop, oop, with Goombella, of course. And now, tattle away! Do -do 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 Yay! That's a Spania! A Spinio with spikes on its head! It looks meaner, too! Not really, actually. It looks about the same in, in expression. <laughs> Max HP is 3, attack is 1, and defense is 0. So, sort of the same as a Spinia. You ought to watch out for the spikes on its head, but otherwise just wail on it. Hammer away. I gotta be honest though, the way that thing spins makes me want to yak. <laughs> mm, yeah, it's, it's just... Yeah, use the hammer, it's a really easy enemy. <laughs> it's not much of an upgrade from a Spinia, other than the fact that you can't jump on it. You know, do anything above its head or whatnot, and yeah. Um, let's see here. I, I thought there was some. Maybe I'm. Th oh, it was up there, wasn't it? Oh. Well, wait, maybe not. Maybe there wasn't something up there. I'm just trying to think of where a star piece is. Oh! In the background. Well, there's one of them that I was thinking of, but I thought there was one that was underground. Um, anyway, if you go down here, this is going to take you to a lower level. And this is on like the other side. It's the sewers are like mirrored of sorts. So, uh, yeah. Um, over here, obviously, is a job for Flurry. Oh, bleep, bleep. other way, please. Thank you. <laughs> There's a pipe leading down. Um, over here, boat panel. Can't do anything with that later. But just, I just want to point that. Uh oh, point that out for now. Go ahead, get out of my way. Oh, oh yeah. Slow Shroom, that was the thing that uh, I got that I didn't really notice. Uh, that I, I mean, I didn't recognize the thing. Um, yeah, back... Wait, what's my HP at? Oh, I should eat that. I'm gonna drop this. <laughs> eat that. One HP. <laughs> Slow Shroom, there we go. What's in here? It's a gradual syrup. It's like the slow shroom, except it's with the syrup. But yeah, that was the thing that um, I pretty much missed out on um, uh, because I, I had those like full on uh, items and whatnot. And I'll drop the turtley leaf. That was a, a bad side quest item. <laughs> uh, over here is another one of these kinds of blocks you can't. In fact, it's a much stronger block than it was, I mean, than any other block you faced before. Uh oh. Oh. Whoop, whoop. Now over here, if we go down, 
kind of you could kind of see right through the floor there it leads to the pit of 100 trials yep anyway i'm gonna see you back up at rogueport all right now that i explored the lower area i can explore the upper areas these platforms they alternate yeah as you put pressure onto them uh, over here you'll probably recognize this area well sort of um go behind here first yeah, another star piece hidden behind a pillar down here. That should give you a pretty good indication as to where we are. This doesn't open until much, much later in the game. Oh, I get it. You're trying to open that giant door way down there, aren't you? What do you think is behind that thing, huh? I don't know. I don't know. But it seems we've stumbled on a city down here. Hey, Mr. Adventure. You know, I used to have a partner named Pierre. But when he went broke, he turned to a life of crime. It was sad, really. I wonder where he is now. You might want to check Rogueport. <laughs> Uh, over here is a soft stomp badge, which weakens enemies' defense. Um, over here is a star piece, which is... Where is it? It's, uh, there it is, behind those broken pillars. Uh, but yeah, you can probably recognize where we are now. Uh, I could actually trade stuff for badges, but I don't know. I don't really, don't really feel like going that, down that path. Yo, Eddie the Mask here. Sports fan extraordinaire. Know about stylish moves? Just press A with perfect timing during an attack to pull off a stylish move. Yeah, this is the first point in the game they teach you about stylish moves. Can you believe that? So, I, I taught you about them way, way earlier than the game intended you to know about them, unless you've got the um, uh, timing tutor badge, of course. So, there's two potential ways that you'll learn about stylish moves, on, but the game doesn't teach you them until it, it like it assumes that you've got the hang of things. I guess you could sound. Uh, I guess you could say. Uh, anyway, alrighty, uh, going up. Come on, come on. There we go. Uh, over here, I think is a. Oh, wait, I thought there was something here. Could be wrong though. Oh, there is something here, but it's something later. It's directly above me. Okay, I just remember what that is. So that means I can't get the thing up there that I want to get. Actually, there's a couple of things. But anyway, let's go in this tavern. Oh, we're already in the tavern. What am I saying? <laughs> oh, a visitor, eh? Every, hey, man, this dude knows everything. He'll give you some seriously good advice. Of course, you'll have to pay him for it. Yeah, that's just the way it goes. Hmm. Yeah, it's that uh, uh, guy in the center there. I know stuff too, seriously. Like, when the wind blows, the cradle will fall? Because I don't know why it falls, because no one tells me! <laughs> this is a special refuge for all we cultivate information. Herb Tea's place. Sit back and enjoy yourself. So it's, yeah, it's just a, a place. Howdy! My name's Wonky, and I just know stuff. I might not look like much, but I know a thing or two. You better believe it. And who knows, the stuff I know may even be stuff that could help you. So if you want to ask me a question, just speak up and ask away. Oh, some, something you want to ask old wonky, right? If you pay me five coins, I suppose I can tell you about the incident I saw. Mm, well, yeah, sure, why not? So I saw this really cute girl in a pink dress walking around town a while back. She was pretty enough to be a princess, I tell ya. Hmm, it almost sounds like a princess, doesn't it? <laughs> She hung around town for a little while after buying something from that old lady. Then she got nabbed in a back alley by a bunch of suspicious guys in white suits. I'm pretty sure I'm the only person who saw that though. Old Wonky was scared. Well, I guess it's neither here nor there. People get kidnapped, whatever. Still, just knowing what's going on in the streets can be helpful sometimes. And that is that. If you need anything else, just ask Old Wonky. So yeah, he's kind of like the uh, storyteller of sorts to get you up to speed on stuff. And uh, uh, there's an item shop there to sell some really powerful items, like the, some of the best items in the game here. Uh, we've got Slow Shroom, Gradual Syrup, which you've already seen. Uh, you know what Ultra Shrooms do, but here is a Jam and Jelly. It covers 50 flower points, and yeah, they're pretty dang expensive. Remember when I said that getting an Ultra Shroom for 50 coins was a bargain? Yep. <laughs> Gold bar. Uh, these can be resold for higher prices at various stores. Oh, hi there. Welcome to the Deep Down Depot. What can I do for you? Um, yeah, just that's all she has to say. All right, now that we've explored this portion of the area and we can't really do anything more here, at least I don't think so. Wait, hold on a sec. Can I... Oh, I want to be a statue again. <laughs> I guess I can't go up there. What a shame. 
What a shame. All right, let's go over oop, here now with the Yoster. And there's a Shine Sprite right here, so don't forget about grabbing that. I don't know how you could forget about that. But over here, if you go in the background, it leads to a platforming segment to a star piece. Can I master the art of side-scrolling? All these platforms are really badly timed. Oh, come on. <laughs> Mm, come on, come on. When two platforms are off time, they'll always eventually come to a point where they are comfortable uh, to uh, jump across. Always remember that. You can, you can always wait around a little bit more until the platforms are ideal. Like these are synced up, so they'll always be the way the, uh, the jump will be ideal, but the other ones, no. All right, now this is the place where you want to go into. By the way, there's another indestructible block right there let's just go inside here and to Twilight Town this sounds like the thing I'm aiming for what the what the how, how do you get rejected by a pipe you're Mario the plumber if there's a clog you can take care of it well uh, well I guess we have no other choice but to go back that's that's kind of a bother so anyway, if you go through this pipe, you'll be pooped out back up here. Yep, that's where this pipe leads to. So it's a pipe to go, uh, to come out of, not to go down into. Mm, so, who should I talk to to figure out where to go next? Hmm, 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 hmm. Ah, how about frankly, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> So, here we are. Yo, Prav, we found your pipe and that thing's all stopped up. We tried and tried, but we can't break through it. Got any drain cleaner? <laughs> what? You can't get through the pipe, you say? How odd. Hmm, I'm afraid I haven't the foggiest idea of what you should do. Oh, of course. I've heard that a fellow from Twilight Town lives here in Rogueport. If anybody knows how to get through the pipe, it'll be him. His name was, uh, dang, what was it? Uh, ah, yes, the lover of dark places, Darkly. I've seen him loitering right here in this part of town in the past. Look for Darkly. Okie dokie. Believe it or not, we have already met him. There's Darkly. <laughs> yeah, he's really close. Hi there, the name's Darkly. Do you guys need something? Oh, I'm sliding in the middle of this. <laughs> See that? Mario's just gradually moving to the right. Huh? You want to know how to get through the pipe to Twilight Town? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Could it be easier? You just need to have something that has your name written on it. Don't you have anything that has your name written on it? Come on, everyone does. Apparently Mario doesn't. No, really? Okay, hang on. I'll write it for you. What's your name? Mario. I mean Mario. Mario, huh? Okay, I'll write it here on the seat, <laughs> seat of your overalls. M-A-R-I-O, right? Yuppers. <laughs> there. Perfect Amundo. I'm at it. I'll write your partner's name, too. What's her name? Yoster, baby! <laughs> hey, watch your ear drawing, buddy! I don't know what Aaron is taking you to Twilight Town, but I hope it goes well. I'll be rooting for you. Thank you so much. Uh, you got anything else to say? Mm, not really. I mean, it, there, it, there was a little slight bit of wording being different there, but it wasn't all that uh, uh, different overall in meaning. La 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 la. Yep, Yoshis are by far the best ride in the world. Best form of transportation. Can fly, can hover, can run. Can cheap, good companionship. Oh yeah. Let's see you talk to a car. Well, I suppose there's those cars that, you know, that you can do voice commands to, but can you have a conversation with a car? I doubt it. <laughs> Alright. Let's go in! to chapter 4